Welcome to the STIMULA project, which has been funded by the European Commission through its Lifelong Learning Programme. The title of the project is Stimulating Science and Technology Competences Through Innovative Means for Teaching and Learning, and is a collaborative project involving six partner institutions. These partners are St Mary's University College Belfast in Northern Ireland, the University of Saragatha in Spain, the Eluhar Foundation, an education foundation in the Basque Country, Phenovum, a research and development company in Germany, Steinbach Innovation Centre, a knowledge transfer centre also in Germany, and the Nikolai Tajilescu National College, a secondary school in Romania. As part of this project, a questionnaire was designed to determine the perceptions of post-primary pupils towards science and technology. The charts that follow relate to this questionnaire, which was completed by 1,125 pupils between the ages of 11 to 17 at the beginning of 2012. These pupils were from 13 post-primary schools across the various countries, with 49% being male and 51% being female. 43% of the pupils' parents had completed their education at university, 26% had completed their education at secondary school, 5% had completed their education at another type of institution, and 23% of the pupils did not know at what level their parents had completed their education. There were 32% of the pupils who had parents working in a career related to science and technology. This chart relates to interest in various areas of life. More than half the pupils indicated that they were either very or fairly interested in nine of the eleven areas of life. The two areas that less than half of the pupils showed interest in were to do with politics and the economy or business. The areas which were the most popular included movies 82%, sports 77%, science and technology 75% and education 70%. Figure 1 provides a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of the most popular to the least popular in terms of interest. This chart relates to getting information on science and technology from a list of different methods. More than half the pupils indicated that they either always or sometimes got information from 13 of the 17 methods. The four methods that half or less of the pupils reported getting information from were via Twitter, 20%, podcasts, 37%, Facebook, 44%, and blogs or online discussion forums, 50%. The most popular methods used by the pupils for gaining information were the television, 94%, their teachers, 94%, via Google, 89%, and their parents, 88%. Figure 2 provides more detailed breakdown of the results, indicating the pattern of the most often used methods. This chart relates to learning about general areas of science and technology. More than half the pupils indicated that they were either very or fairly interested in all but one of the areas related to science and technology, that one being geology, 50%. However, the most popular areas among pupils were biology, 76%, chemistry, 70%, product design, 64%, and mathematics, 63%. The area that was the least popular in terms of interest compared to the others was engineering, 52%. Figure 3 provides a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of the most popular to the least popular in terms of interest. This chart relates to science and technology improving understanding of certain issues. More than half the pupils believe that learning about science and technology improved their understanding of a career in science and technology, 84%. Their understanding of being a more responsible consumer, 61%, and their understanding of solving problems in their daily lives, 55%. Less than half of the pupils believed that learning about science and technology improved their understanding of being more sensitive towards others, 23%. Their understanding of opinions on society and political issues, 34%. Their understanding of things that affect them and their families, 45%. And their understanding of communicating with different people, 45%. Between 11 to 28 percent of pupils did not know whether learning about science and technology improved their understanding of these issues. Figures 4 and 5 provide a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of the most popular to the least popular in terms of interest, and the pattern of uncertainty. This chart relates to science and technology topics and subjects. Those statements with which more than half the pupils either agreed or strongly agreed included I like science and technology, 70%. Science and technology activities are fun, 61%. Studying science and technology subjects will help me obtain my desired job, 
I am interested in science and technology subjects related to people's health, 52%. And I like learning about science and technology related to space travel and the universe, 52%. Less than half of the pupils indicated agreement with the statements. I like learning about the laws of science and technology, 43%. And science and technology subjects are the most interesting to study, 42%. Approximately one-third of pupils, 34%, believe that science and technology issues are difficult to understand, and almost one-fifth of pupils, 17%, showed agreement towards science and technology subjects being boring at school. Between 16 to 34% of pupils were undecided as to the science and technology statements. Figures 6 and 7 provided a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of agreement and the pattern of being undecided. This chart relates to career interests for the future. From the list that was provided, less than half of the pupils indicated that they would be interested in all 13 specific occupations, with 52% of the pupils indicating that they would be interested in other types of careers, rather than the ones listed. Those careers that interested the least number of pupils included politician, 9%, judge, 20%, researcher, 24%, and teacher, 24%. Between 9 to 22% of pupils did not know whether they were interested in the list of careers. Figures 8 and 9 provide a more detailed breakdown of the results, indicating the pattern of the most popular to the least popular interest in careers, and the pattern of uncertainty. This chart relates to certain people being strong influences in career choice. The most popular influences would come from parents, 42%. Less than half of the pupils felt that famous people, 14%. Friends, 17%, other relatives, 21%, or teachers, 25%, would be influential in their career choice. Between 16 to 25% of pupils were undecided as to whether people would influence their career choice. Figures 10 and 11 provide a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of agreement and the pattern of being undecided. This chart relates to interest in science and technology activities. More than half the pupils were either very or fairly interested in seven of the science and technology activities. Those activities that were deemed the most popular involved working as a member of a research team, 70%, doing research projects, 69%, coming up with solutions to problem solving, 68%, testing solutions to problem solving, 66%, making presentations about research, 56%, examining results from research projects, 53%, and planning research projects, 52%. The least popular activity was writing research reports, 31%. Figure 12 provides a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of the most popular to the least popular in terms of interest. This chart relates to the various pros and cons relating to science and technology. More than half the pupils either agreed or strongly agreed with science and technology helping cure diseases, 71%. Science and technology needing to be used properly to avoid danger, 69%. Science and technology providing the best ways to understand the world, 65%. Science and technology providing a comfortable lifestyle, 64%. Science and technology being very beneficial to society, 64%. Science and technology helping to improve the environment, 58%. And science and technology being increasingly complicated, 54%. Only 9% of pupils showed agreement with science and technology being harmful to health or being an enabler of friends, 19% with 23% showing agreement that it causes division between the rich and the poor. Between 20 to 44% of pupils were undecided as to the pros and cons of science and technology. Figures 13 and 14 provide a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of agreement and the pattern of being undecided. This chart relates to stereotypical views towards people who have career, a career in science and technology. The results indicate that more than half the pupils either agreed or strongly agreed with two of the 12 stereotypical statements. These included being typically hard-working, 70%, and being typically creative, 60%. Those stereotypical statements that resulted in agreement from the least number of pupils included being typically boring, 9%, being typically strange, 11%, typically working alone, 14%, being typically old, 14%, being typically nerdy, 14%, and typically being men, 18%. Between 20 to 45% of pupils were undecided as to the stereotypical views associated with people who work in science and technology. 
Figures 15 and 16 provide a more detailed breakdown of the results from the pupils, indicating the pattern of agreement and the pattern of being undecided. This chart relates to reasons why people choose science and technology as a career. From the list of possible reasons presented to the pupils, more than half believe that it was because they enjoyed studying it, 80%, and people think it is worthwhile, 78%. Almost one third of pupils, 32%, believe that it is because they can become famous. Between 14 to 36% of pupils did not know of these other reasons why people choose a career in science and technology. Figures 17 and 18 provide a more detailed breakdown of the most popular reasons according to the pupils for people choosing a career and in a science and technology career. This chart relates to visits to a series of locations on the science and technology trips in starting school. Less than half of the pupils reported that they had visited the locations detailed in the question, with science and, te and technology museums being the most popular location visited by pupils, 47%. Figure 19 provides a more detailed breakdown of the percentage of pupils who visited these locations on a science and a technology trip since starting school. When the pupils were asked if they thought the school should provide more science and technology trips, there was an overwhelming majority of 80% who reported that they should provide, be provided with more trips related to technology and science. The pupils were also asked about the school allowing them to do more practical projects related to science and technology. This resulted in 68% who believed the school should allow this, 13% who thought that they did not need to do any more, and 18% who believed the school already allows them to do enough practical projects. The next question asked the pupils whether or not mathematics had links with science and technology at school, with 69% believing it did and 31% believing it did not. When asked whether or not other subjects had links to science and technology, 75% reported they did, while 25% reported they did not. Pupils also rated their own current knowledge in science and technology, and this resulted in 6% rating it as excellent, 21% as very good, 47% as good, 22% as average, and 4% as poor. This chart relates to interest in a series of science and technology activities at school. The three possible responses were, yes, I am interested, no, I am not interested, or the school does not offer such activities. Approximately one quarter of the pupils claimed that the school does not offer science and technology related assemblies, 26%, competitions, 23%, or speakers, 23%. More than half the pupils indicated that they are interested in science and technology related experiments at school, 75%, science and technology trips, 61%, science and technology displays, 51%. Figures 20 and 21 provide a more detailed breakdown of the opinions of the pupils towards these science and technology school activities. In conclusion then, Entertaining activities such as movies and sport are very popular areas of life which interest the pupils. However, from an academic perspective, science and technology as well as education in general are also very popular in terms of gauging the pupils' interest. Areas of life that concern the political, economic and business world are the least popular in terms of stimulating interest among the pupils. Within science and technology, the subject areas of biology, chemistry, product design and mathematics are the most popular in grasping the pupils' interests. Geology and engineering appear to be less popular choices of science and technology related subject areas. There is a perception held by a reasonably significant group of pupils that mathematics has no links with science and technology at school and that links do not exist between science and technology and other curriculum subject areas. The pupils seem to like science and technology and find it to be fun. The particular types of science and technology activities they like to learn about relate to health and outer space, and they find that by studying the subject areas within science and technology, it will help them obtain a job to which they are attracted. Few pupils find science and technology boring. However, a reasonably significant group find difficulty understanding science and technology. The pupils are interested in science and technology technology when they work in teams on research projects that involve testing and coming up with solutions to problems, whereas less of them are interested in actually writing up research reports. 
The traditional methods of watching television, learning from teachers and inquiring of parents, as well as the more 21st century method of googling for information, are deemed the most popular ways of obtaining information on science and technology. On the other hand, social media such as Twitter, podcasts and Facebook are used by fewer pupils. Almost three quarters of the pupils believe that their current knowledge of science and technology is at the, at the least good in accordance to their age. Pupils do not see learning about science and technology as contributing to their understanding of sensitivity, politics or society. Rather, they see it as contributing to their understanding of scientific careers, responsible consumerism and problem solving. The pupils believe that science and technology help in the discovery of cures for disease, but should be used in an appropriate manner so that risks of harm is avoided. They claim it offers the best ways in which to understand the world, makes life comfortable and helps to improve our environment, which is beneficial to society. However, it is deemed to be increasingly complicated. There are positive stereotypical views held by the pupils about those working in the fields of science and technology, such as being hardworking and creative. Moreover, they reject negative stereotypical views, such as scientists and technologists being boring, strange, old, nerdy, isolated in their work, or even men. Becoming a politician, judge, researcher, or teacher are the least popular choices of career for the pupils at this stage of their lives. However, becoming a designer seems to be the most popular choice of career from those presented to the pupils. The influences on pupils towards career choice come mainly from parents. The pupils believe that people choose a science and technology based career mainly because of their enjoyment in studying it as part of their education and due to it being worthwhile. The majority of parents have not of pupils the majority of pupils have not had opportunities to visit specific locations associated with science and technology, with the most popular location visited being museums. They believe their schools should offer more opportunities for trips in association with more science and technology practical projects. There are many pupils who are interested in the science and technology experiments and trips that take place at school, and just over half show interest in science and technology based displays. A reasonable amount of pupils feel their schools do not offer opportunities to meet and listen to visitors who can talk about science and technology, and that there is a lack of competitions at school related to science and technology.